very nice to meet you, Martha. Yeah, very nice to meet you as well, Pilla. Thank you so much. Did you have a good um, bank holiday weekend? Yes, I did. Thank you. A bit wet, but uh, yeah, no, I did. Thank you. Yeah. yeah but awesome. let's let's crack on because I know you've got um, some questions for me, and um, and also I know how busy mums are. So you know. I just sort of think they haven't got so much time and capacity to listen. No, to no, no, definitely. Um, yeah, so if I start, so Margot, so she's two and five months, so she's nearly yep. two and a half. Um, she's still in nappies. Yep. We've got the potty, we've got her pants, we've got the Lucy. I feel like we've got all the gear, but okay. no idea. Okay. <laughs> I know, um, and I know everything, everything I read says um, you've got to wait for them to be ready. You don't want to go too yes. soon. Um, but what are the signs and like yeah. do they need to be doing all of the signs so when when yeah. is um, when do you know when's the right time yeah okay it's a really good question I mean I actually I have a little course because I've when I work with so many parents on one-to-one -one for this uh, issue these issues um, but but usually I get them coming to me a bit late like they've started mm -hmm. and failed yeah so I've re produced a little course short course called the, the um, get set for potty training yeah um, and so um, it's an online thing and you can go to my bio if anyone's interested and have a look at that but yeah um, the, the thing that we've got to think about is that it and you've probably picked up this already that it's about stage not age yeah so very often what's happening is maybe we've got a parent sort of saying you know, isn't it time to potty train? Or you might have seen other children. Does she go to nursery? Yeah, she does too. So she does, um, she does go, she does a few mornings at nursery. Yeah. Week. Okay. So you might have heard other mums say, you know, uh, oh, we've, you know, we've cracked the potty training. And then you start to sort of think, oh, you know, is, uh, um, have I, you know, have I missed something? Am I kind of, am I going to miss the window here? Mm. Um, so I think, you know, first and foremost, just try to be as relaxed in yourself as you can. Yeah. And just sort of, you know, because children have, um, I was going, there's like, they've got little antennae and they're mm. very much um, picking up on, on, you know, how we feel about things. So the more relaxed, number one, we are, the, the better. Um, and you're right, they're, they're, they don't have to sort of tick every single box. Yeah. But things like, um, does she show any interest in you going to the loo or other children? Is she curious at all? Like, does she ever wee um, in the bath? And... Well, she's defi she definitely sees me on the loo. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, and yeah, and I think she does sometimes want to kind of see what's going on. But okay. she definitely, something she definitely does is she, like when she poos, she'll go... And like hide the corner yeah okay. and then okay. she might kind of poke her head up and say okay poo. but she won't tell me like before she's beforehand doing okay. it'll kind of be like afterwards but the um, fact is um she's recognizing her own body signals so she knows yeah. when she wants to go yeah and takes herself off yeah so i would start i'm just sorry i'm just going to switch this thing off because it's going to make beepy noises um so i would start with um mentioning to her that she's recognized that she needs a poo yeah so you know say so, oh you can feel it you know yeah. your, your 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 tummy's telling you you need a poo and you go and hide so actually yeah. sort of validate her for that yeah Okay, because um, that's yeah. a good you know that's a good first thing then I would have a good look at the poo afterwards yeah the, with her yeah with yeah, her yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know yeah, yeah. really like oh my goodness look how big it is that's so fantastic you've produced a lovely big poo um you can help me flush it down the loo um those sorts of things so she's got um and if you go to the loo let her like pull the loo paper yeah. Um, and you know uh, uh, when you finish you can have a look at what you've done and flush it so there's very much a kind of normality around the whole thing um, you can also yeah. describe to her that um, when she drinks that comes out as we and mm. when she eats mm. that makes poo um, mm -hmm. so she's associating you know the purpose of it um, yeah. that it's it's the bits that we don't need and you can, mm. you know, you can say like when you water a plant, the water goes through and you, it takes some, but it doesn't need some. And mm. that's like, that's like a plant doing a wee. Yeah. So yeah, she's making yeah. those kind of associations. Yeah. Um, yeah so yeah. that's, it, is she, um, two stage instruction. So if you said to her, um, take this cup 
and go and put it on the side. Or, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So she'd yes. understand. She, she knows that, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's another one of our signs is when they're, you know, they're able to sort of process things, um, able to, to um, follow a two-stage instruction. Yeah. Um, things like, you know, it's quite good to do practice, like pulling up, pulling down. Okay, yeah, we haven't, we haven't really been doing too much of that. I think yeah. we could do that. Do so that, that she more, can independently pull her her um, things down. I mean, you know, she's obviously in a nappy right now, but but yeah. you know, being able to pull her trousers down, pull them back yeah. up again, yeah. um, and that's you know, you could get her to practice sitting on the potty, just mm. within with clothes. Yeah. Um, do you ever? Does she have naked time before bath? um sometimes but not like not routinely because i would routinely give her like 20 minutes naked okay. time before bath yeah. okay, um, cool. because that will um help just to, to because they're so used to having this feeling of a nappy they don't really understand yeah. you know their nappies are so i mean one of the you know one of the things that um probably is true that um some of us as children, and I'm obviously much older than you, but you know, some of us were in cloth nappies. I suspect mm. we weren't. Um, but in those days, um, cloth nappies, well, you know, they're heavier, so they feel the wee more. Yeah, whereas yeah, the, yeah. The, the nappies just wick it away, so they just they don't have much of a sensation. So yeah. that's why I would just say, uh, you know, watch, um, let her run around before she has yeah. a bath and let that and you can you know you can have the potty there and mm -hmm. see if she is interested in sitting on it but the, you know one thing I wouldn't say is like if they've done one wee on the potty that's it just go for it it's definitely you want to prepare which is why I, I have made this program um it, the, the get set for potty training because um you know that's very often where parents will make the mistake they think right we've got a window it's half term um, she's done a wee on the potty that's fine let's just go for it and not yeah. done some preparation like some of the things that I've mentioned that so that you really are having her feel comfortable about it um, and you're yeah. feeling like you're kind of ready yeah and um, am I correct in saying that you're an advocate of gentle potty training yes and yes. so can you tell me a little tell bit what, about that because I'm what, not too sure yes. what that is well you know, I mean, my whole approach to parenting is, is about um, a kind of compassionate parenting with firm boundaries. Yeah. Um, or collaborative parenting is another way yeah. of putting it. Mm -hmm. So um, some of the books um, will just say, right, you're in charge, you dictate, uh, you know, when it's time, you take their nappies off and they've just got to learn yeah um and i feel that's a bit brutal and actually i'll often be picking up the pieces from parents where they've had a traumatized child because they just weren't quite ready yeah, um, yeah. and and so i would rather parents took a bit longer over it yeah. um than um risked uh, that kind of trauma and it is you know um for some children I mean, some children will take to it really quickly but others really won't and you can get in this awful dynamic where as a parent, you're really stressed. Mm. Uh, you don't know what to expect. And then, you know, you're finding that they're having lots of accidents, which is completely normal. Yeah. Um, but you're stressed by that. You're stressed by the fact that they're resistant. You know, I've worked with parents that said, you know, I've, and they, they feel so bad, but they sort of just didn't know what. They said, like, I just shoved her on the potty and said, you just need to eat because I knew she did. And yeah. that can really, um, you know, you can, that's a lot to unravel mm. uh, because you can't make a child eat or wee or poo. You can't, they, you know, they only, you know, you've seen it, you know, they'll, yeah. they'll shut their mouth or their body will close down and they won't do it. So that's why I'm very big on the collaborative, gentle approach because, because of the risk of traumatizing them. Yeah. And leading on from um, the risk of traumatizing, is there anything that you definitely shouldn't say? Wow, yeah, know? really good question. Um, definitely don't compare in a negative way. So it's yeah. very easy to say things like you're the only one in your class that's not not potty trained. Yeah. Um, or, you know, well, it's say they've got a best friend called uh, Eliza. Yeah. Well, Eliza uses the potty. Yeah, you know, you yeah, can yeah. hear it in the tone. 
yeah, um, yeah, yeah. so I, I definitely don't advise that um, mm. I'm not big on rewards yeah. I think it's a body function you can reward with how you you say things you know yeah. um, the encouragement that you give them but I certainly don't think you know like kind of holding a enticing <clears throat> Toy, toy game doll whatever and sort of go you'll get that when you're when you're potty trained because yeah. you know it is a body function you want them to just when when it starts to click just want yeah. to go to the loo because they want to go to the loo because they feel that they need to not because they're going to get a chocolate yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And, and you can get you know you can have the you can what can happen is that they can squeeze a drop out yeah to get the smarty and then you're like hmm you yeah, know how yeah. what do i do because that's not really her needing listening to her body signals it's not really her needing to eat she just wants to get the the, the chocolate yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. um so i i just and i think it can get complicated i mean i think that you can have sometimes you can have a little chart i'm not i'm not averse to charts just to yeah. sort of tick when they've tried yeah um, but it's not what they've produced because um, that puts pressure on them. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so that, you know, that would be another thing. Um, I know it sounds obvious and it sounds like in, but just don't tell them off if they've had an accident, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, but what will often happen is, is you can get a child that, um, sort of does okay and then they regress a bit and you start to feel really kind of despondent and that's when you'll mm -hmm. be more prone to telling them off for having an accident yeah, but I yeah, would yeah. just say um, no shame no blame just yeah. en encouragement and um, and you know there are I'm, I'm not adverse I think one of your other questions is is there a point where you should stop if it's yeah not what, what is that line yeah. that you're like I mean I think I you know I try to encourage parents to keep going with it to expect accidents um, yeah. and expect it to take a couple of weeks so mm -hmm. if you're week sort of day three and you know she's done two E's on the potty but had four accidents I would not say stop yeah 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 um but um if you're two weeks in and you're just getting feel like you're really getting nowhere and the child's miserable then i'd say just just not ready just yeah. wait you know um pop, pop, go back to nappies put the potty away um yeah. you know just like but don't do it as a present it as a shame thing yeah, like yeah. well you didn't couldn't get it just like you know what you're not ready yet so we're yeah. just going to go back to nappies till you feel ready and then and then we'll um you know then we'll start again yeah yeah just gonna move so <laughs> oh, no. the work, I mean, just see him in the background I saw so. <laughs> um and and is there a time when like do you have to stay in the house for the first few days before we like when, I, when's the stage where you can like venture out to the yeah or... i mean i i de it, yes it so varies child to child i would definitely yeah. say factor some home time in yeah uh, um, uh, and um people say you know should we do it only in the summer look it is marginally easier in the summer if they can play outside naked yeah. um but i you know i wouldn't say therefore push it because it's yeah. summer um yeah, yeah, yeah. but um or like don't do it in the winter because it can be you know they can just be ready in the winter so yeah, don't yeah, yeah wait six months um and you know waste your time so i yeah. i would just say yeah um that it is good to have some clear diary um mm. it is good to to i definitely recommend letting them go naked um, yeah. and you know letting them just feel that's a natural thing to do I mean you yeah. can you know you've got a girl so you could could go out in a little skirt with no knickers on yeah, yeah, know, yeah. like a sort of a loose fit skirt um, yeah. so um, it's a little bit harder with boys I mean with boys I'd say just baggy shorts if you need to go out so yeah, yeah, yeah. no pants on no knickers or whatever boys got pants underneath um just so that they've got that looseness around them um yeah. and i would say yeah that you know when um after two or three days you can kind of judge how you're doing 
Mm. Um, it's quite good. I mean, I didn't ever have these, but you can get these little potets. Um, yeah. They're like a travel potty um, okay. so that um, you can take that out with you. Um, but, you know, as sort of like I've had mums sort of say, um, oh, well, I don't, can't bear to do, um, I'm just on a thing. Sorry, um, I'm just going to get some. I can't bear, um, uh, you know, public toilets. Like, Ugh. Yeah. and if you're, you know, if you're going to be like that, your child will pick up on that. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. you know, you might be out and need to use a public toilet, in which case you've got to relax about it yourself. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, like yeah. not freak out if they do do a wee in St. Yeah. You know, just again, like I said, they, they're very much a loop with us. And, and, yeah. the, and the, you know, the more they um, feel that we're chilled about things, the, the more chilled they'll feel. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so I would say, you know, try and stay around the house, um, but, uh, you know, don't like become a prisoner. Um, yeah, yeah. And just if you need to go out, um, uh, you know, expect that I would, I don't advise, actually, really good point. Sorry about this noise in the background. Um, I don't, I don't advise um, pull ups. So okay. I don't advise that if you go out, put a pull up on, because yeah. that's confusing. Because yeah. that's like, you know, well, I don't trust you. I don't think you can do this. So I'm going to put a pull up on you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you yeah. can get like pads for the car seat or the buggy um, okay. that you just put underneath them. Okay. But, cool. but, but once you're going to go for it, then yeah. I don't think keep swapping in. I mean, if they're still having nap and, and obviously they're going to bed at night, that's different. I would say you can use the nappy for nap time and bedtime. And you can explain that to them because you're going yeah. to be sleeping, but yeah. and, and but and you're not ready yet to to you know stretch that long. But if we're going out, um, just you know, uh, either like I said to start with, just a little, a little loose skirt and no knickers, or or knickers and expect you might you know you'll 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 have some accidents. Yeah, and um, what advice would you say to parents who are feeling pressure from maybe their mom friends if they're like? the last ones to kind of yeah go. yeah I think it's just like you said at the beginning just saying you know that it's stage not age it's stage not age you know it, i i mean I, I i'm this is sort of my whole approach not just about potty training is that you're doing the best you can and yeah. you've got to know your own child um yeah. and um it, you know if you've just sensed they are just not interested um, and i can't get them interested um then just wait a bit yeah and, um yeah. i mean it is it is better you know some of parents resistance is this fear of like you know mess on the carpet yeah um or uh you know horror horror he did a poo in the playground or you know oh my god we were in waitrose and and he went in the trolley and yeah. therefore they'll delay because of that worry yeah and i just yeah. say look just completely normalized i mean in third world countries t t the children just toddle and, and we and poo everywhere <laughs> so you know um it, it, it just be relaxed about it yeah and then um go for the potty training so you know whereas they might be delaying because of those fears so i say don't delay because you're a, of your own fears but mm -hmm. um if you feel your child just isn't interested can't get them engaged just isn't ready don't want to force it yeah. Then just say, hold your head high. You know, they all crawl at a different age. They all walk at a different age. Uh, you know, they're, they're just, each child is so unique. Um, yeah. But, and, and, um, and some are ready quicker than others. And, and also, the other thing is, you know, some parents will really wear it as a badge that their child's potty trained early. Yeah, yeah. When, when that child, when everybody's through potty training, when they start school, nobody's going to give a flying what not, ha, you know, whether your child was potty trained at 18 months or three and a half, nobody cares. Yeah, nobody yeah. cares, you know, um, so you get through it and, um, uh, and then it's behind you. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I would just say, you know, just ignore those comments. But if it's about you worrying about the, the sort of, you know, the, the, the mess or the horror of the, uh, having an accident outside, then just work on yourself and relax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
um and um so finally what would your like top three tips be to someone who's about to embark on potty training um well i mean i'd say you know get get the right equipment yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Check. and <laughs> check um books that or on apps that they're you know there are lots of books and apps that they like music yeah. Mm -hmm. um so that's that's a good thing and just work on I, I know this sounds very broad but work on preparing them ahead of the time that that you actually take their nappy off so you know like i said earlier that the kind of you know t testing the potty out putting yeah. their things up and down watching you go to the loo watching others go to the loo talking about drinking and where it all goes that kind of thing so yeah. it's, it's not really three tips there but it's a kind of medley of things yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That, that, that really help um yeah help get get you prepared so so preparation 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 that's yeah. that's my big thing don't rush at it but equally um you know stay calm and um be confident in yourself that you're going to get through it yeah, yeah yeah well i think that's something i've really taken away is that they really pick up on your vibe so they really i'm going to be really um yeah. i'm going to try and be really yeah. um yeah aware of how i how i react yes yes and what i say so i'm definitely yeah. um yeah I need to and, and don't compare yeah um, because um, you know they 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 will um, and and also just you know lots of praise for them trying. And yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter yeah. if they didn't. I mean, I know it's disappointed, but disappointing if they kind of go, "I need a wee, I need a wee, I need a wee," and they get to the potty and they sit down and they go, "No, I don't." And then, yeah, or, yeah. or they go, they sit there and like nothing comes out, and then you, think, oh, God, that was a waste of time. It's it is frustrating and hard, and you do have to sort of act a bit sometimes, you know. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. To, um, sometimes. Um, at bath time, um, I've sometimes put it out and then I've said, oh, do you want to sit on the potty? And she'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she'll sit on the potty and I'll be like, ooh, ooh. And then like, she'll sit on for like two seconds. Yes. And then she's like off again. So I was yeah. like, oh, she didn't do anything, you know. <laughs> so it's like, oh, But great. that's, you know, that's great that she does that. And, and if she wees in the bath, praise Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's look, look what's come out. Yeah. That's your wee. You'll be doing that on your potty soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that can you know lots of positivity yeah 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 okay yeah we'll definitely do that great <laughs> okay. okay well thanks so much thanks so much for um chatting to me Camilla it's been really good um <laughs> and yeah now I'm looking I guess I'm yeah I guess I'm looking forward to it really it's such a big milestone it's, a, lovely, it's a wonderful milestone it's so great and uh you know they feel so proud of themselves yeah so you know that's really nice that um they just you know they love um yeah they love what they've done and they love their yeah achievements. yeah 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 mm. definitely mm. uh well yeah thank you so much for taking the time to speak to it's been great uh, and yeah i'll keep you updated as to how margot gets on definitely do i'm dying to hear yeah <laughs> and, uh, and if anybody's watching and wants to go to my bio oh yeah um, there is my definitely. online course um and it's called get set for potty training it's also called the potty preparation plan um yeah. so uh grab that for yourself because it's um it's really easy little little um short little lessons and it gives you a whole range of of um different books and apps and uh songs that i've I kind of honed are the good things to to get yeah 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 Okay, cool. Well, thanks so much. Okay. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.